Godzilla. It's all right. And by the way, this is the only Hollywood Godzilla film. There have been no others. Anyone mentioning any other Hollywood films with this title are lying. Does not exist. That's a lot of fish. Go away. But yeah, it's all right. A uh, few more thoughts after the intro. So, uh, I wanted more monsters. It's okay for what it is. It spends a lot of time with the humans, and I really just want to see monsters fighting. That's it. That's it. You give me monsters fighting, I'm happy. But, uh, I got some monsters fighting, and a lot of it trying to make me care about some human characters it was following, but it's particularly one human character was following, but... It, there are so many teases in this film for a big monster fight that... It's like, yes, they're going to show... You come to a newscast of it? <laughs> oh, you know, you're talking about... Not, now you're following the humans again. I don't care. Just show me monsters fighting. I want to see monsters fighting. That's what I go to a movie like this for. And Okay, granted, a lot of the visuals here are really cool. <laughs> Godzilla actually looks like Godzilla. Uh, Motu, or Muto, yeah, Muto, very cool looking monsters, uh, not enough of them fighting, really, this is disaster porn, more than a monster movie, yeah, it's disaster porn with monsters in it, but it's mostly disaster porn. There's a lot of shots of buildings getting knocked over, floods coming up and taking out the streets, but... Eh. It the actual part of it kind of underwhelmed me. <sighs> I didn't hate it. I'd give it about a six and a half out of ten. But it's not Pacific Rim. Pacific Rim last year is what I wanted from a monster movie. Yeah, there were human parts in it. Okay, I actually cared more about them than I did about the humans here. But. <sighs> So there are some scenes there that's like, oh, yes, this is what I wanted. Unfortunately, they're all right near the end, and you have to sit through about an hour and 20 minutes of other stuff before you get to that good stuff. And kind of like Pacific Rim, although actually a little bit worse, uh, this is all very, very dark, dust clouds, cloudy. So you... It, it, I don't know why they don't just have these things in broad daylight, why they feel they have to be shrouded in mist. They think that makes it look scarier or something like that, but... Uh, it's part, partly, I agree, but at some point you need to show them in their fullness. Show them in the daylight just duking it out. And, yeah, they eventually get there, but it, I think it takes a little too long and they should have just gone straight to the monsters fighting. And, oh, and if you've seen the film, you know what I'm going, you know, hopefully know what I'm referring to. That scene, kind of at the, close to the end, spoilers, I've already told you my thoughts, spoilers on this part, where he gets in on the boat and then he's driving it off and he passes out and is saved. There were, what, five minutes left? when he kind of passed out and they somehow get him off the boat onto a helicopter and somehow that boat is far enough out that San Francisco's not a smoking crater? No. No, 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 no. Sorry, San Francisco's a smoking crater. I had the same thought at the end of The Dark Knight Rises. <laughs> but... Yeah, Dark Knight Rises is better than this. I think some of you know my thoughts on Dark, The Dark Knight Rises. It's, a, it's okay. I didn't think it was great. This, as I said, about six and a half out of ten. And eh, worth a matinee or a cheap night, which is when I saw it, although granted it was AVX, so I actually had to pay a little bit more, but whatever. 
it's worth my comfort. All right. That's my thoughts on Godzilla. It's all right. See you, folks.